Today I'm going to show you how to shoot arrows using PVC pipes and some common household materials. This is what you'll need. A 3 quarter inch pipe, approximately 13 centimeters long, a half inch screw joint, some PVC tape, rubber bands, I'm using 8 of them, a pouch, I've salvaged mine from an old slingshot, you can make your own from an old leather shoe. I did the same thing in my hanger slingshot project a couple of weeks ago. You can watch that video by clicking here. A nail and butane torch, even a lighter will work. Hot glue, a set of pliers, and for the arrows we'll need some rounded skewer sticks, packing tape and electrical tape, marker and scissors. Let's get started. First, I'll drop the shapes for handles for the rubber bands on my pipe on both sides. Then I'll heat up my nail using the butane torch or lighter and drive it through the pipe to make the handles. Make sure you're doing this outside or in a well ventilated area as these fumes can be dangerous. After you're done, clean up the charred plastic using a serrated knife or some sanding paper to smooth out the surface. Now I'll go ahead and knot my rubber bands onto the pouch. Four on each side. This is the simplest way to knot them. Once both the sides are done, it's time to place the rubber bands in their handles. Like this. I'll leave a blob of hot glue here so the bands cannot escape from their handles. Now the front of our pipe is pretty wide for our arrow because of which it will never aim correctly. This is where the screw joint will come into play. I'm gonna apply some PVC tape to the screw end until it fits snugly inside the pipe and then apply some hot glue and stick it in. Our bow is done now. Let's move on to the arrows. I'm basically using these barbecue skewers which are very cheap, easily available and perfect for the job. And they're sharp too. All I need to make is the fletching or tail for it. For that I'll need the packing tape. First I'll cut one piece and place the arrow on it. And a second goes on top like this. Press both pieces together to ensure a firm hold. Double the layers on both sides for a nice sturdy tail. You can also use duct tape for this. I've made a template out of cardboard as to how my tail should look. Using my marker, I'll trace it out onto the fletching. and then cut it out using scissors. I went ahead and colored it black with the same marker to make it look better.
wrap a little of electrical tape on both sides to reinforce the fletching. And with that, our arrow is done. All you have to do now is set up a target and get shooting. These arrows will easily penetrate styrofoam and cardboard. Anything hard like wood or concrete and the arrowhead will break. According to me, this is just a toy. I'm working on a much meaner version with upgrades to the bow as well as the arrows and it should be able to shatter glass without any problem at all. And all that without using anything that you won't find at your home already. Look out for that in another project. Speaking of experiments, me and my friend have started a new channel called Fungineers where all we do is wild science experiments melting, breaking, pouring acid on stuff and other such experiments which we think you guys will like. So go check out that channel now by clicking here or on the link in the description. There are a couple of videos already playing and loads more to come. Make sure you subscribe and leave us your suggestions in the comments. I'll also be announcing the winner from my previous smartwatch giveaway video next Friday. For your chance to win, click here to watch that video and comment below it. I'll be picking up a winner at random and shipping the watch to them for free. And that won't be the end of it. I'll be giving away more free stuff every now and then. So make sure you subscribe to my booth. That's it for now guys. I upload new gadget reviews, life hacks and facts videos every week on Fridays. Subscribe now so you don't miss out on any of the action. It's free after all. Make sure you like my page on Facebook at facebook.com slash my booth. I put a link to that in the description below as well. Click on the thumbnails to view my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.